Judge, and I'm so blessed. Today is Friday. Praise God. Listen, God's love is full. Hey, the Bible said the whole earth is full of God's mercy. If you are not experiencing the mercy of God, it's not because it's far from you. It's because you haven't learned how to assess it. Praise God. Hey, can we call for that deliverance? It's part of God's mercy. It's part of God's mercy. So, so let's go say, say this with me, say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's walking in me now, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Woo! Now, 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 let's just bless God for today's broadcast. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I declare right now, every body is lifted. Every yoke is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let your word come freely to every heart. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now yesterday, I'll share with you from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. He said, you must remember. That word shall. You must. See, when the Holy Spirit is your teacher, I uh, mean, when he sits you down and explains things to you, scriptures come alive. Now, the Holy Spirit will not come and be teaching you scriptures. He will come and be teaching you life. And as, as he's teaching you life, scriptures will begin to come alive. Because the Holy Spirit is not bound to this Bible. I need to understand something. The Holy Spirit is not trying to follow the Bible. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's bigger than the Bible. <laughs> Just like Jesus said, <laughs> you search the scriptures, John 5, 38, 39, sorry. He said, you search the scriptures because you think in them you will have life. And the scriptures testify of me. And then Jesus said to them, say, and funny part is, you are not willing to come to me so that you will have life. Meaning, the scriptures will never give you life. But the scriptures is testifying about the one who will give you life. And instead of you to go meet the one who will give you life, you are being, you're there struggling with the scriptures. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You're struggling. No, the Bible said, no, no, that's not what it says. This is, this is what it says. You know, that's what, you know, I get, I get amused <laughs> when I see people do that. You know, doing Bible argument and stuff like that. Hey, you don't need to argue anything in the Bible. Just follow the truth. As the Holy Spirit leads you. Now, when the Holy Spirit becomes the one who's leading you in the truth, the scriptures will begin to come alive and with its accuracy. That's how I got to know this. Because the Spirit of God was teaching me now concerning tithing and why it's so important. And why I, I listen, I mean, I'm too, I'm too, allow me to use the word, but, but I don't mean it in the general sense. I'm so religious about tithing. I'm so, I mean, you know, I, I receive money, I call my wife, I say, whoa, guess what just happened? Say, oh, I just received money. First question she's going to ask me is, have you removed your tithe yet? Not because she's in doubt whether I would or not or whether, I, no, no, it's just, uh, no, that, you know, why she's saying that, like the first, because she knows that that's the first thing we must do. What are we really doing? Because we know that that's the first thing. So the moment that she's not, when she says, have you paid yet? Have you, have you taken out the tithe yet? She's like, have you acknowledged the Lord? Because that's what it is. Not just say, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. No, truly. Sometimes I get into a lonely place and I go on my knees and say, whoa, Father, thank you. 
you've just blessed me and, and so so and so person just sent me money so listen i'm bringing a report to the lord concerning that person you see and then secondly i'm i'm remembering that it is the lord that commanded because we don't go about asking people for money so when god when people send us money we know they have heard from the lord and then we bless the lord consigning them and consigning his name and then our mind is no we know that god is about to bless someone else through us oh you don't you don't get this you know <laughs> many testing many testing I, I, I was one day you know i had just finished talking to someone that needed money to pay her school fees. And then she had asked me for the money. I like, as at the moment, I, I didn't have that kind of money. So I said, well, let's just trust God. And then we prayed together. I said, don't worry. The Lord will provide. Now, just about two minutes after I left speaking with the person, I received, I mean, some, I received an alert on my phone. And which was just... I think a few, maybe like a, a few, a little above what the person needed for the school fees. And, and that was someone that sent their tithes to me. See, so I just, the moment I saw it, I knew exactly what the money was for. I knew that money wasn't for me. I knew it was for that person that needed it for school fees. So I just blessed the Lord. I said, Lord, thank you. You are so awesome. I know where this money is going to, praise God. And so immediately, I, I called the person. I said, hey, God has supplied. So, oh, whoa, really? I said, yeah. And God just supplied the money. And I sent the money over to the person. Now, what happened? You see, when God was commanding that person to send the tithe, guess what was on God's mind? His covenant with Abraham that this person will be blessed to pay their school fees. And, and, and the Lord just oh, Lagusa, break it. the Lord just arranged it that this person communicated with me at that moment concerning the school fees. And the moment I was done communicating with the person, these other person sent their tithes to me. And, and I, I don't know if you understand how these things work. Why is this important? Because the Holy Spirit is the one in charge of these things. And, and I, I remember the Lord spoke to me and said, son, and that's why he commanded me. That's why when I teach on this, I'm too passionate about it. Because he told me, he said, son, if my children will just tithe right, just tithe, forget about every other giving you give, just tithe right, just that 10%. The Lord said, if my children, you know some, some say, I mean, I'm, 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 10% is too small for me. Uh, my own is, uh, I, I give 20% or something. I even give 90%. Listen, don't disdain the 10% that you have not even been doing right. God in his wisdom, uh, you can't beat God's wisdom. You can't be wiser than God. So I'm a kingdom financier. I don't give 10%. I give 100%. Good deal for you. But what use is you giving 100% when you don't even give the 10% right? What use is it if you give all your money and you give it to the wrong person, not whom God wants you to give it to? What use is it? God says that he may establish what? His covenant which he swore unto your fathers even as it is this day so even this day he is doing what establishing that covenant what's the covenant 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 of care covenant of care what's the covenant god says look guys abraham listen to me i'll take care of you and I will bless you by taking care of you. And I will show to the whole world that I'm big enough to take care of you. That's why God said, leave your father's house and follow me.
to a land that I will show you. It's not about the land. It's about the representation of a, a lifestyle that God fully takes charge of. So when we tithe right, and I understand what the Lord told me, he says, if, if my children will just tithe properly and allow my spirits, now that that's actually bringing the tithe to him in the real sense. And then the Lord says, if they just do this, he said, no one, no one, no one will be broke. We see broke Christians not because they are lazy. We see broke Christians not because the demon in their village is too strong for them. We see broke Christians because we have not obeyed the Lord fully. Oh, yes. So we have Christians who get compromised because they couldn't pay their school fees. We have Christians who compromise because they couldn't pay their house rent. Meanwhile, there is someone whom God has blessed. And through that person, he was supposed to connect with that people or whoever it is. God has blessed you and your tithe will pay the rent of someone. But you don't even know the person. But guess what? You, you take that money. I didn't say, okay, I'm supposed to tithe. I will tithe. And then you sign off that check and then you send it to your church. I have paid my tithe. How? The church will receive it. Yes. But has God received it? Except the Lord commanded you to give it to that church. He has not received that money. And guess what? When you do this accurately, guess what's going on? The blessing of God. How, how can you? You, 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 Because sometimes God commands you. Ah, hmm. How accurate we can walk with God and secure our lives and our destiny. He said, this is how I will establish my covenant with Abraham, my covenant with your fathers. This is how I will establish it, brothers and sisters. God can command you to give the tithe to your neighbor downstairs. And you'll be wondering, why, why would I give him? Why would I? You know, sometimes say, but he's not even born again yet. He's not born again. He can, yeah, he, he's even a Muslim. Or oh, he's even a whatever. But, but I'm sensing the Lord commanding me to go give them my tithe. How, how can God tell you to give your tithe to, to, to a pagan or to a Muslim? Oh, oh, oh. Didn't he say through you, all the families of the earth, did that include Muslims? Yes. Did that include Shintoists? Buddhist, yes. But guess what? Imagine stepping, oh, ah, 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 and then Kaba. You know, I've received this testimony before how God was commanding this dear sister that take you, give your tithe to Susan Super. And the person was a Muslim. And then she struggled with it for a while. I think she even called me then. I said, I don't get what I'm hearing the Lord said I should give my tithe to Susan. But this is, I said, go ahead and obey the Lord. Because it is God who knows who his children are all over the earth. And she obeyed the Lord and called and says, hey, um, send me your account details. And then she sent the money. Guess what? The lady called and was weeping. And the lady began to tell her how she's been, she's been mistreated or she's been, you know, not treated well by her husband. And, and this is the challenge that she was just going through. And this is the money that just had to deal with that challenge. And she said, whoa, guess what? It's not me. I was praying. And my God commanded you to, me to send you that money. Now, what do you think? What impression do you think she left in that woman's heart? Can't you see that we are spreading the savour of God's goodness in every place? And acknowledging also that Jesus is Lord. Can't you see that? If we just tight right, we will preach the gospel faster. 
than we've ever done. I'm telling you the truth. Because, because this is taking place everywhere, in every place. People are just praising the name of the Lord. Everywhere you enter, just imagine every family being touched by what? God said, I should give you this. <laughs> and you're saying that because it's the truth. It's not just an evangelism strategy. It is the truth, the love of God being spread all around. That's what Jesus prayed, our Lord, let them be one as we are one, so that the world will know that you have sent me and have loved them as you love me. How will the world know? When we begin to tell them, this is what God said I should do for you. Me? Yes, you. Me? Yes, you. Think about this. Someone is about to be tempted to go join an armed robbery gang. And why is he being tempted? Because there is a need in his life. He's begged everybody. Nobody's responding to him. And suddenly, you show up and say, God sent me to you. And he said, I should give you this. That will melt every stony heart. Brothers and sisters, this is a job that God has called us to do. And we are not doing it right. So wake up. And respond to the call of the Lord today. I'm going to continue on this next week. Because this is so vital. This is the controlling factor of the finances of heaven. God bless you. I pray that you have a blessed weekend. And enjoy all of God's goodness. In Jesus name. Amen. I'll see you next week. Bye.